Hey YouTube, this is a prop replacement as well as a prop zinc replacement. So here we go. Um, first, I like to describe if you're replacing a prop uh, for the first time, and since I didn't know this when I first replaced my prop, I'm going to explain it real quick. The numbers right here that you're seeing on the prop, okay? Uh, you're going to need those numbers if you want the same exact prop. Okay, so my uh, particular prop here is a 19 in diameter. You see that 19 at the front, and my pitch is the second number. Okay, so basically, diameter is always going to be the first number. So mine happens to be a 19, it could be a 21. And the next one would be your pitch. Um, that's the basics of what you need to know. If you want to get into, you know, the difference, the different props and things like that, and your thrust, um, that's probably for another video. This is just a quick vi uh, prop exchange and uh, a zinc, like zinc exchange. So moving on here. So this one is a quick silver prop as well. Can't really see it through the camera. That's why I'm holding the camera like that. Okay, so yeah, look at that corrosion in the back. That thing was on there. It was almost, I thought it was seized on there. I had to pry that, that thing off the drive. I hit a rock right there on the, on the fin. That prop is just, it's been banged up over the years. Nonetheless, it worked pretty well until I hit a rock one day. So the socket you're going to use is a 1 and 1 16th for the nut, the prop nut. So this two by four is used, or this four by four you, that you're looking at here, I use that. I I just put that under my prop, and that way I can go ahead and uh, put my socket on the prop nut, and and uh, you know loosen the prop nut. There's other ways to do it. You could probably put your uh, your your uh, boat in in gear. And that way it will prevent that prop. It will uh, prevent the prop from spinning as well. But usually I just put a 4x4 there. And then just go ahead and put a socket on that nut. So another thing is this socket I have. I went into AutoZone one night. It was the only one they had, but it's a short one and one sixteenth, so it barely fits over the nut. So you really want the deep socket if you're going to use a uh, socket. They do have prop nut wrench wrenches. They got plastic ones. They got various types that you can get specifically for that nut. So, but if you don't, you want the deep socket. However, it did work to take off the prop. So that's actually my new prop. I already took the one off, but I'm just kind of going back over this uh, install. So here you're looking at my zinc. That zinc is just tore up. It's all brown. It's disgusting looking. And uh, it was, it was, it was bad. It was really hard getting that stuff off of there. So here I had to seize the the, uh, the thrust hub away from the zinc. So the piece in the front here is this is called the thrust hub, and then my zinc is right there, the brown thing behind it. But yeah, it was sitting like that, and I had to pry with a screwdriver. 
Probably shouldn't wait five years to replace that zinc again. So I'm, I'm trying to basically look down into the lower gear housing and see if there's any drywall or any anything leaking down in there. But so this socket here to get the uh, zinc off the prop zinc is a five sixteenths. And that actually came out fairly easy. But that zinc is just down to, it's down to nothing really. I'm pretty sure it's, at this point, it's useless. But I was primarily in lakes, so I wasn't really worried about the zinc as much. But in the last couple of years, I've been doing a lot of saltwater boating, so really want to keep up on those zincs for sure if you've been running in salt water so you just got two two screws holding the uh zinc in should just slide right off boy that drive is dirty in there i need to clean that out so here i'm matching up the two, the old zinc, the new one, it's a perfect fit. I'll go ahead and proceed to put the new zinc on and secure it with the two screws. Of course, you want to match your screws and your zinc before you put it on. You don't want to put it on and force it in, force the new screws in there if they don't fit. So you want to make sure all that is the same. Now this new zinc, of course, I'm, my camera work here is is uh, not too great because I'm trying to, I should have put this on a tripod, but um, I didn't, and it's, so I'm all over the place with this camera. But nonetheless, here I'm trying to get, I finally got the new zinc secured. I had to change my socket because the other socket I had was too wide. So I had to go for a slimmer one and I had to use a swivel. Probably didn't need the swivel, but I used it anyway. But that new zinc is looking pretty shiny. It did help with that extension on there. Zinc is nice and secure. <clears throat> Next, goes on the hub. Looking all shiny, looking pretty good. Thrust hub is on, it's got grease on there. This isn't 2.4C I use. It's, uh, I cannot remember the name, but it's a little bit better, they say, than 2.4C. At least that's what they told me at the boat shop. I don't know. Maybe he's trying to upsell me on some, some grease there. So this new prop I have is a Black Max. Nice and shiny and black. Exact same prop. The other one was a Quicksilver. Okay, so here I have the dry sleeve adapter now that I'm putting on there. And I'm trying to do this as I'm holding the camera. So it's kind of one-handed and looking through the camera. So I got to fiddle with this thing here for a minute. And then I finally get that on there. I mean, it's pretty basic, pretty uh, quick, easy install with a prop, typically. And so after um, the sleeve adapter goes on, next is going to go the tab washer and then the nut. And then the tab washer, that thing there with the forks on it to the bottom of your screen right there, has the two forks on it. And it's going to make sure that it doesn't spin so it has 
little notches on the uh, on the sleeve adapter to keep that uh, tab washer from spinning the nut off. So it has those little grooves there. Put the nut on and uh, on the side there you can put those notches the other two flaps down onto the nut and it should keep everything nice and secure. Go ahead and tighten that down to 55 foot pounds, I believe it was. And uh, that's pretty much it. Not much to it. So if this helps somebody out there, good luck and see you on the next one.